New study unveils origins of neutron stars' mysterious heartbeats. A recent study has shed light on the origins of the mysterious heartbeats observed in neutron stars, linking them to glitches caused by the dynamics of superfluid vortices. The research reveals that these glitches follow a power law distribution akin to other complex systems and introduces a model based on quantum vortex networks that aligns with observed data without requiring additional tuning. Discovering neutron stars' heartbeats, while the concept of stars blinking messages in Netflix's three-body problem is pure science fiction. Real-world scientists have deciphered the erratic flickers of neutron stars, uncovering the twisted origins of these dead stars' mysterious heartbeats. When neutron stars' ultra-dense remnants of massive stars that exploded in supernovae were first discovered in 1967, astronomers initially speculated that their strange periodic pulses might be signals from an alien civilization. Today, we understand that these heartbeats originate from radiation beams emitted by stellar corpses, not extraterrestrial life. Their precision makes neutron stars excellent cosmic clocks for studying astrophysical phenomena such as rotation speeds and internal dynamics of celestial bodies. Occasionally, however, this clockwork precision is disrupted by pulses arriving earlier than expected, indicating a glitch or a sudden speed up in the neutron star spins. The exact causes of these glitches have been unclear, though their energies follow a power law mathematical relationship common in complex systems, including wealth inequality and earthquake frequency magnitude patterns. Quantum Vortex Network Model Reanalyzing 533 data sets from observations of rapidly spinning neutron stars or pulsars, a team of physicists proposed a quantum vortex network model. This model naturally aligns with the power law behavior of glitch energies without extra tuning, as published in the journal Asterisk Scientific Reports Asterisk. More than half a century has passed since the discovery of neutron stars, but the mechanism of why glitches happen is not yet understood. So, we propose a model to explain this phenomenon, said Minato Nitta, a specially appointed professor at Hiroshima University's International Institute for Sustainability with Nadad Shiral Metamatter WPISKCM2. Superfluid vortices get a new twist, previous studies suggested to main theories for explaining glitches, starquakes, and superfluid vortex avalanches. While starquakes might explain the power law pattern, they don't account for all types of glitches. Superfluid vortices have been the widely accepted explanation. In the standard scenario, researchers consider that avalanche of unpinned vortices could explain the origin of glitches, Nitta explained. However, there has been no consensus on what triggers these vortices to avalanche catastrophically. Nitty elaborated, if there would be no pinning, it means the superfluid releases vortices one by one, allowing for a smooth adjustment in rotation speed. There would be no avalanches and no glitches. But in our case, we didn't need any mechanism of pinning or additional parameters. We only needed to consider the structure of P-wave and S-wave superfluids. In this structure, all vortices are connected to each other in each cluster so they cannot be released one by one. Instead, the neutron star has to release a large number of vortices simultaneously. That is the key point of our model. Key insights into neutron star dynamics. A neutron star's superfluid core spins at a constant pace, while its ordinary component lowers its rotation speed by releasing gravitational waves and electromagnetic pulses. Over time, this speed discrepancy grows, causing the star to expel superfluid vortices to regain balance. As these vortices are entangled, they drag others with them, leading to glitches. To explain the formation of twisted vortex clusters, scientists proposed the existence of two types of superfluids in neutron stars. The S-wave superfluidity, which dominates the outer core's relatively tamer environment, supports the formation of integer quantized vortices IQVS. In contrast, the P-wave superfluidity in the inner core's extreme conditions favors half-quantized vortices HQVS. 
Each IQV in the S wave outer core splits into two HQVS upon entering the P wave inner core, forming a cactus like superfluid structure known as a bujum. As more HQVS split from IQVS and connect through bujums, the dynamics of vortex clusters become increasingly complex, much like intertwined cactus arms. Real world data alignment simulations showed that the exponent for the power law behavior of glitch energies in the proposed model 0.8 plus or minus 0.2. Closely matched observed data 0.88 plus or minus 0.03, indicating the framework accurately reflects real-world neutron star glitches. Our argument, while simple, is very powerful. Even though we cannot directly observe the P-wave superfluid inside, the logical consequence of its existence is the power law behavior of the cluster sizes obtained from simulations. Translating this into a corresponding power law distribution for glitch energies showed it matches the observations, said co-author Shigehiro Yasui, a postdoctoral researcher at WPI SCAN2 and associate professor at Nishogakusha University. A neutron star is a unique situation where astrophysics, nuclear physics, and condensed matter physics intersect. Observing neutron stars directly is difficult because they are so far away, making it essential to connect interior structures with observational data. Reference, the study Pulsar Glitches from Quantum Vortex Networks was conducted by Giacomo Marmorini, Shigehiro Yasui, and Minato Nitta and published on April 3, 2024 in Asterisk Scientific Reports Asterisk. Yasui and Nitta are also affiliated with Keio University's Department of Physics and Research and Education Center for Natural Sciences. Collaborator Giacomo Marmorini is from the Department of Physics at both Nihon University and Ayamagakuin University. That's all for now from Space Mentent. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media for the latest Space Earth and Science updates around the clock.